walk and be, Lord. I want to walk, talk and be with Jesus all day long. All day, all night, around the clock. Don't leave home without him. Don't go home without him. Every second of every day, I want to walk, talk and be with Jesus all day long. And right now, Father God, we just say, have your way, Lord. Have your way. You are the potter and we are the clay. Mold us, Lord. Mold us into what you need us to be today, Lord. Every day, Lord. Have your way in any way. And right now, Lord, we humbly bow. We humbly bow in your presence. You say, use me, Lord. Use me, Lord. As you see fit for the kingdom. We take any worry, every stress, any fear, every struggle, every anxiety, every attack. Whatever's heavy on your heart right now. Whatever's heavy on your mind right now. Take that thing right now and lay it on the altar. And once you lay it on the altar, what do you do? Come on, say it together. That's right. Let go. Lay it on the altar and let go. Let go. Somebody right now is having trouble letting go. Let go. Give it to the Lord. Let go and let God do what he does best. For you, Lord, are the burden remover, the yoke destroyer, the way maker, the miracle worker, the mountain mover, the door opener, the great physician. <clears throat> the strong tower in each of our lives whose hand we never let go we never ever let go of your unchanging hand you're the same yesterday today and forevermore you are the air we breathe as a deer panteth the water so my soul longs after you lord every single day we inhale the breath of life <sighs> exhale the word of god with god all things are possible inhale the breath of life <sighs> exhale the word of god i can do all things through christ who strengthens me. <clears throat> Inhale the breath of life. Exhale the word of God. And now to him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we can ask or think according to the power within us. Inhale the breath of life. Exhale your favorite scripture. Yes, Lord. Inhale the breath of life. Exhale your favorite scripture. We feel the weightlifting, Lord. We feel the weightlifting right now. We feel the stress leaving because we let go. And now we just say, peace be still. Peace be still. A fresh anointing is flowing right now. Receive it. Let's say it together. I receive a fresh anointing right now in the name of Jesus. We'll say it again. 
I receive a fresh anointing right now for this day in the name of Jesus. Anointing, anointing for victory. Anointing for healing and breakthrough. Deliverance. Anointing for whatever it is you need to walk in victory right now. Receive it. Bask in the anointing. Lord, let the blood of Jesus, Lord, let the blood of Jesus flow through our blood vessels right now. Healing. Healing. Healing every diseased and disease cell in our bodies, Lord. Let the blood of Jesus cover us from head to foot. Receive it. Peace be still in Jesus' name. Peace be still in Jesus' name. No stress. Just rest. No stress. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. You saved me, Lord. You saved me for myself, Lord. For all hurt and pain. So I can live again. Oh yes, Lord. I thank you, Lord. For all you brought me through. Oh Lord. I'm in love with you. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, 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 glory. side what could it be <clears throat> just think about it for a minute if God had not moved in your life what could have happened oh but God it didn't happen but God <laughs> oh we've been through so much Lord. we've been so, through so much Lord in this life we've been abused misused neglected dejected emotionally ripped apart falsely accused left for dead oh but God you reached down and pulled us back to our feet out of the darkness out of the pain so we can live again oh come on family stand together you saved me you saved me from all my hurt and pain you save me so I can live again. I thank you, Lord. All you brought me through. Oh, Lord, I'm in love with you. We'll say it again. You save me from all my hurt and pain. You save me. So I can live again. Thank the Lord. All you brought me through. Oh Lord, I'm in love with you. Every day, Lord. 
Every day we pray for those, Lord, who don't know you. We pray for the lost, the lonely, the brokenhearted, the homeless. Lord, so many people are hurting right now, Lord. So many people are hurting and don't know to call you, Lord. Oh, Lord, take away the pain. Take away the pain, Lord. We pray for those who are backslidden. We pray that you get a revelation before it's too late, Lord. And Lord, use each one of us to be a blessing to at least one person every day. And let them know there's light at the end of the tunnel. A way out of no way through Jesus Christ. Save them, Lord. Like you saved me. Oh, come on, family, stay together. You saved me. Hallelujah. You saved me. All my hurt and pain. You save me so I can live again. I thank you, Lord. All you brought me through. Oh, Lord, I'm in love with you. See it, see it again. You save me. All my hurt and pain. You save me. So I can live again. Thank you, Lord. All you brought me through. Oh, Lord. I'm in love with you. <clears throat> yes, Lord. Our soul says yes right now. go feel his love right now surrounding you just rest right now feel his peace take over you just say yes Lord I trust you Lord I need you Lord I rest in you Lord right now and whatever you're praying for right now, whatever you're praying for, see the victory. See it. See yourself praising God for the victory. See yourself shouting for joy, for the healing. Whatever it is, see the problem resolved. For when you pray, believe you have received it. And you shall have it. But you got to see it first. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things unseen. Your faith right now is what's needed. The substance of the prayer, things hoped for. And the answer to prayer is the evidence of things unseen, the power of prayer. See it. Believe it, receive it, expect it, and walk in it by saying every day, thank you, thank you, Jesus, for answering my prayer. Thank you for answering my prayer, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for answering my prayer. It is done. It's already done. And now we wait on you, Lord, and we say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, get happy about it now. Get happy about it. The victory is yours. The victory is yours. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, praise God. Praise God. Oh, glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You saved me, Lord. Say it again, family. You saved me. All my hurting pain. You save me so I can live again. I thank you, Lord. All you brought me through. Oh, Lord, I'm in the bread. Say it again, say it again. Do you save me? All my hurt and pain. Do you save me? 
soul, I can live again. Thank you, Lord. All you promised to Oh, Lord. I love you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. now go to intercessory prayer we now pray to each other you've been praying by yourself and I wish for the fellowship to pray with you in agreement please put your request on the screen right now for those who are working or driving and you cannot type just speak a prayer request God hears every prayer for those on Facebook Twitter or LinkedIn, please put your request under this video in the comment section. We'll get it there. Please put your request on the screen right now.
Lord, we thank you right now. We thank you, Lord, for moving over all these prayer requests right now, Lord. For two or more are gathered together in your name. You in the midst, Lord. And right now, we as a fellowship stay in agreement with all these prayer requests right now, live or archive. That all these prayer requests shall come to pass. The fervent prayers of the righteous avails much. Hear our prayer, O Lord. Father God, as we continue to come together as a fellowship six days a week, Lord, daily, Lord, we pray for not only world peace, we pray for a double hedge protection to be over everybody, Lord, to protect us from any hurt, harm, or danger, from unexpected shootings, accidents, natural disasters, or violence, Lord, of any kind. We pray for healing over the pandemic, variants, and every other disease, Lord. We pray for our leaders, for justice, for change. We pray, Lord, for you to continue to wave your mighty hand over the spirit of rebellion, division, racism, and hatred as we commit as a fellowship to humble ourselves, to pray, to seek your face, to turn from our wicked ways. You are here for heaven. Forgive our sins and heal our land. All these things we ask, Lord, all these things we ask. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Another great night we had together. Worship Wednesday and Crazy Praise Friday. Holy Ghost Party Days. Ending the week the right way with praise. Thanking God for another week of safety throughout another work week to keep us in Psalm 91 protection. Every day, not just every Friday, but every single day, we thank God for His hedge protection. Amen. Praise God. We pray the special prayer, of course, for all those who are recovering from the fire disaster in Maui. We pray that all the families displaced by the incredible fire past week or so. We also pray in advance for hedge protection over California that has a tropical storm in many years hitting here this weekend. A tropical storm coming up, up from the southern hemisphere from Mexico. Expected to hit Los Angeles Sunday and Monday. Been many years since the tropical storm hit California. So we just ask for a special hedge protection over us out here in California who's not really prepared for that kind of storm. But we just pray for everyone, anywhere, for tornadoes and hurricanes, earthquakes, all the natural disasters, wherever people are in the world. We just pray a hedge of protection over everybody, wherever you are, to be protected from any and all natural disasters, to keep us safe, Lord, through all the challenges we face in nature. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Before we close, I always know someone may be visiting for the first time or watching for the first time who doesn't understand why this fellowship is always on fire. We come together six days a week, live or archive, having never met physically, but knowing we all love our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and that makes us all brothers and sisters in Christ. But someone listening right now doesn't understand this kind of fellowship. So right now I'm going into 
the closing prayers, and the prayer of salvation. As always, please no typing after closing prayers. Anything typed during the prayers is deleted. I respect for Holy Spirit. Amen. Right now, I'm talking to the person listening. And you've been, you've been here the whole time. You heard the intense praise. You heard the worship. But right now, you're having trouble connecting. Because right now, your life is falling apart. Worry, fear, stress, anxiety is all over you. Families turning away from you. Friends stab you in the back. And you may even feel like giving up on, on life itself right now. Yes, somehow you find yourself on this channel and you have no idea how you got here. And that's because God brought you here. Because God sees what you're going through right now, physically, spiritually, emotionally. And that is why you're here. You're not here by accident. You may be here as a backslider in guilt. For whatever reason, you chose to leave God and go back to sin. And now your life is falling apart because you went back into the devil's world. And now the devil's telling you once you leave God or fail God, you can never go back. And that right there is a lie from the pit of hell. No one is perfect. All have fallen short. So if you said the prayer of salvation and then you fell back into sin, there's nothing the devil can do to take away your salvation. Just rededicate your life. Recommit your life to Christ. And there's nothing the devil can do to stop you. So right now, if you're backslider and you want to come back to the Lord, or right now your life is filled with depression, darkness, and hopelessness, or you just don't know our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, either way, I want you to pray with me right now. Repeat after me. Father God, Forgive me for wrong I've done and the wrong I've been. I believe Jesus is Son of God. I believe He died on the cross for me and my sins and was raised from the dead. Right now, I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. And I commit right now, I will not do a single thing in life or make a single decision in life but i'll give it to you first create in me O oh lord a clean heart and remove from me anything and everything that's not like you in jesus name now if you said that prayer sincerely your spirit is right to receive the holy spirit and the holy spirit is a part of God that lives inside of us to teach us, to guide us, and also convict us. We're not walking God's will. The Holy Spirit will show you people, activities, and things you're doing right now in your life, which is bringing darkness into your life. And then he'll tell you how to reverse it. First of all, spend time with God every day. Not just every Sunday, every day. Spend time with God. Feed your spirit, starve your flesh, feed your faith, and starve your doubt every day. And the more time you spend with God every day, the more peace of mind you will feel in your life, which is God let you know it's going to be all right. God's got this. God's got you. The next step is to repent. And repent means change your ways from sinful ways to God's ways. And again, the more time you spend with God every day, the stronger you get. And next thing you know, you're turned away from the simple things you used to do. And seek God's will and God's way according to his word. Right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we as a fellowship rebuke and bind the spiritual retribution, revenge, retaliation, backlash. And every other demonic spirit named a name seen unseen who may try to attack anyone in this fellowship because of their participation in this fellowship. And we cast all you demonic spirits out of our mind, out of our spirit, our home, our kids, our marriages, back to the pit of hell from which you all came in Jesus' name. And Father God, loose, Lord, loose into the fellowship, unspeakable joy. 
Loose peace beyond understanding. Loose restoration, Lord. Restore. Restore every area of our life, Lord. Loose reconciliation, Lord. Bring reconciliation to marriages and families right now who are falling apart because of the devil attack, Lord. And Lord, please keep your protection over all the families and marriages who are not falling apart, but who the devil is still attacking every day, Lord. Loose a supernatural healing, physical healing, spiritual and emotional healing. By your stripes we healed. And we confess, Lord, we confess every day, I believe I receive my healing in Jesus' name. I believe I receive my healing in Jesus' name. Every day, confess it, thank him. Confess it, I thank him every day. Pray as if your life depends on it. P-U-S-H. Pray until something happens. Loose a supernatural overflow. Financial breakthrough, a supernatural debt cancellation, Lord. Lord, let your blessing, Lord, your blessing of abundance, Lord, rain down, Lord, rain down on the first air, financial need, whatever it is. For you shall supply all our need according to your riches in glory. In Christ Jesus, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I shall not want anything for the Lord is my shepherd. The saints part together, fellowship, repeat after me. For I am the head, not the tail. I am above, not beneath. I am the lender, not the borrower. I'm blessed going in and blessed going out. I'm blessed that I may be a blessing to others. I am out of debt. All my needs are met. I have plenty more to put in store. I am a child of God. And nothing shall by enemies hurt me or block my blessings in any way. For God is my help in every need. God does my every hunger feed. God walks beside me, guides my way through every moment of the day. I now am wise. I now am true, patient, kind, and loving too. All things I am can do and be through Christ, the truth that lives in me. God is my health. I can't be sick. God is my strength, unfailing quick. God is my all. I know no fear, since God and love and truth are here. In Jesus' name. And finally, Lord, finally, we thank you, Lord, for a miracle, Lord. Each person here has a miracle to pray for right now. And now we know. Every day we take time, every day we take time to see it. Every day we take time to visualize your miracle. See it, believe it, and then receive it into your heart. And as you receive it into your heart, expect it. Expect your miracle every day. We don't know the when. We'll never know the exact when, but because we don't know when, that means any day you wake up, any day you wake up, could be a day of the manifestation of the miracle you're praying for right now. So expect your miracle every day. <clears throat> May the Lord bless you and keep you, family. May the Lord make his face shine upon you, be gracious unto you. May the Lord set his face of God approval upon you, give you peace. And you may be a blessing to every you touch or speak to, a blessing to every you pray over, a blessing Dead when you pass by and blessed without opening your mouth. Because the love and light of the Lord is all over you. 24-7, 365, including leap here. So Father God, all these things we ask, Lord. All these things we ask. In Jesus' name we pray. The fellowship say amen. Amen. Amen.